he has to give here. Both of these teams are top teams in the world, and they're both good enough to be in not only the top 16, but the top eight. But something has to give. Someone has to go. Introducing first Brazil, George Wanderley, 22 years old, won 93. George, an under-19, an under-21 world championship. This is his senior debut in the competition in Hamburg. And he's playing with the reigning world champion, Andre Laola, who became the youngest player ever to win gold in his first appearance, 22 years old. Listen to the roar as the Lion King makes his way into the Red Bull Beach Arena. The Latvian superstars in their country. And for Samoilovs, 171 tournaments. So many of them with Yanis Smedins. 31, six foot three. Dynamic as they come. Smedins has played 138 competitions now. This team together since 2013, after the London Olympics, where Schmedins won a bronze medal with Martins Plavins, who's playing in this competition with Edgar's Tox. The sport in Latvia growing. Is it as prestigious as Brazil? Absolutely not. The only time that a Brazilian men's side have not been on the podium in a World Championships, 2007. They've made a podium every single time in all 11 editions. But Evandro and Bruno, the Olympic champion Bruno, and world champion from 2015, playing with Evandro, the world champion from Vienna. They've got Billy Allen, Stafford Slick, turned up this morning and did a proper job over many people's favorites for the competition. The world championship is fierce here, and the games today are going to be electric. From the middle, Smolovs goes in and blocks, back to the line. Andre, done and dusted, point one, the Lion King. <laughs> to the inside. This time high off the hands, both players going after to the targets for the Latvians. And you just have to, while you've got a chance, give big credit. While it's an upset, Billy Allen, Stafford Slick, two players who have been in this game for a long time from the AVP Tour, have turned up. Billy Allen getting served the entire game, coached by John Mayer, that team, played in the World Championships in 2015 with Ryan Doherty, the avatar, but chipping back to the line, Brazil are going again. Shows enough angle to make Samori Lofts hang there for eternity, and then rolls it high to the sideline. Great passing from Samoilovs. We'll explain why in just a moment, but it's been really well seen from George off the hands. Schmedin's frustrated. The Latvians trying to create big angles on their pass to open up the block defense. That's why Samoilovs can chop back with ease. But to the line, Brazil go. The timings of Schmedin's in the block slightly out. Smolovs passing back to the middle. Two ball from Schmedins. They're looking to do that all the time. Brazil have seen it. It's really strong from Brazil. They're watching all the time through the net. See Schmedins. No drama for Andre. The Brazilians took a third in Jingjiang, the four start. Played wonderfully well there. The best result for them as a team in their seventh competition together, this one. Smolovs and Smedins have played 75 competitions together, 11 wins. 
That's not a bad return whatsoever. Diving into the angle, sweeping the line really late, George, but that's too good from the Lion King. Samoilov Smedins took a ninth in Warsaw. But one last year in Moscow. Schmedins from the left side this time, a bit more uncomfortable for him. Just guided back from Samoilov's chance for Brazil. You can see it so early when they're so in rhythm. Five three, dream start for Brazil. Latvia feeling the pressure. Schmedin's the target. He doesn't get served so often. It's a bit brash from Schmedin's. Slightly underneath it. This from Brazil, a statement. They would have seen that Bruno, Evandro have gone out of the competition. Every team would have seen it. Nobody watching closer than the Norwegian number one sides, Christian Sorum and Anders Moll. He was seeded one, but they would have met Bruno Evandro in the quarterfinal. It would have been a crazy, crazy game to see because it's final worthy. But now they have a different challenge in the likes of Slick and Allen, maybe Pedro Solberg or Plavins and Tox, the other Latvian side. Here comes the boom. This is on the other side of the draw, though. So the winner of this game will play the winner of Fidelec Brio or Duran Schumann from Australia, which will be an interesting one, but Schmedins just pops up. So late, back to the line. Toasted. Schmedins again goes solo. He's trying to hide out the vision of the spiker and then take areas away so late. Some oil offs, 6-6. Six, six. This one just warming up into something you would feel a little bit special today. Big reach in the block, trying to close off that scene. Andre doing the blocking that time. Schmedins. It's incredible. Schmedins is 6-3. Not the biggest blocker, but look how low he is. Out of the vision. Andre just can't see him. And then he pops up like a slice of toast. He gets another block. Schmedins again, looking for a third one. This time, it comes down on his side. But Schmedins is so aggressive in every movement. He has to go so late, so he has no choice but to be aggressive with everything he does. This time, off the outside hand, out of play. Brazil going again. Shmodos rolls back to the line. Chance from the inside for Brazil. The feet from George. Super quick, beating Latvia for speed there. Incredible shot as well of the wrist work. Going through the body. Thumb goes up and through. Moilos from the left, that's a sharp angle. And that's going to give him confidence. If he works the wrist away like he does, yes, he's hitting hard cross court, but the wrist goes away and it's always drifting 
to the outside of the defender. Brazil are going to have to sit round a little bit more there, and it's going to allow Shamoilovs to chip line. Such a great start to this one. Doubling up on the angle. Good communication, really, from Brazil. Smolov's really going for the swat there. You can see him almost gasping for the ball with his hands. Short on Smolov's again. Wider play, he tries to kick out. This time, he just chips back. Just keep an eye on Samoilovs. He's just gone away from the body two times in a row. One deep with real speed. This time it's more placement. We might just see Brazil change their block defense tactics to try and deal with Samoilovs. Brazil now passing off the net, but the setting from George Glorious. Smoilov just turns around and probably said something along the lines of, nothing we can do about that one. Seems open. Andre does the rest, but looks straight at George, points at him and says, that's all you, buddy. Smolovs and Smedins, for many, can go a long way in this competition. They've had it tough. Losing a game to Pedro Schachter from Canada on the outside courts yesterday. Pedro Schachter having a glorious game against the Latvians. Andre and George find the net this time. And for Pedro and Schachter, their reward for winning that game yesterday is a game against Alison the Olympic champion with Bruno in 2016 and Alvaro Filo. This draw is just popping up surprise after surprise, really. <laughs> Sweeping to the line, the approach really square on from Brazil. Schmedins touches the court. Slowing the game down, but speeding it up to the wings. Samoilov Smedins doing their thing here, which is moving the ball with width and with speed. Brazil, after a good start. They're just lacking at the technical by one. The wide plays from Latvia. Doing the business here in Hamburg. And really, for anyone who watched in 2012, Janusz Schmedings, number two on the right of your screen, played with Martins Plavins, and that sort of style of ball, different tempos, moving the game around, was what worked really successfully for them in the Olympic Games, and lots of other teams have taken that approach to the game since then. Oh, there's a few. Some oil offs here, there's another one. If Alexander Samoilovs is the Lion King, we wonder what we can call him in the crowd, but this team coached by Samoilovs' father. The Latvians are a beach volleyballing family. Misha Samoilovs is also the brother of Alexander Samoilovs and plays volleyball as well, sitting in the seam. Schmerdins and the Lion King goes chasing after it, unfortunately slightly too audacious from Schmerdins and finds the net. Schmerdins brother, Tom, also an international player. Smolov's not happy, but Schmedin's and his defensive read there to stay so central and leave the angle open is a sign that he's seeing everything before it happens. But that shot from Samoilovs getting underneath it. Yeah. 
time long. Misha Zamoylov's playing. Some events at senior level now after being successful at junior level. Father of Alex Zamoylov's also the coach of the Latvian team here doing so well in the women's event. Raudina and Krav. Konica play again today for Latvia in the women's side of the draw, which is certainly worth following as well. This World Championships, very good. And then working away from the body, hitting the cross court. Arm comes through to the pocket. Fierce from Brazil. Andre scoring. inside on Samoylovs. He has to work hard to get back out to the pin. It's a flatter ball, but we've, not the first time that we've seen Brazil dive in on the angle and sweep the line on Samoylovs. Fading away, Samoylovs showboating. However, Samoylovs is falling backwards there and still manages to stay clean with the hands, extend the elbows and follow through. Schmedens does the rest. Samoylovs on the floor celebrating. set from Brazil moving and it's long they might look for a touch here but no challenge one of the most supported teams on the tour without a doubt to more Dobson Smedins Schmedi goes flying out the back Well, Brazil still have Andre and George in this competition. And they do have Alisson Alvaro, but Pedro Solberg, Victor Felipe going today as well. But how many will they have left at the end of this competition? Bump Cuddy coming on too. Hello! But it's long! No way! Brazil, a given, a gift of great importance here. But they return it unopened. Sometimes the best in the world even get too excited. Drifting Schmedins, referee gets involved. Tobias Markfeld almost having to get his paws on the ball. Where is this game going? Swings from both teams. Another miss serve. That's two poor ones in a row from Andre. Christian Sorum and his mole going today against Bergman and Harms, who are impressive in the lucky loser round here late last night. But for the team from Norway, who won three in a row in three weeks in three different continents, Samoylovs popping up late, turning, looking to dummy the two ball. Brazil are not having any of it. But Latvia still score. Samoylovs using his arms to try and take the attention of the blocker. Bish, bash, bosh from Samoylovs. Medins stays high with the elbow, guides it to the sideline. Both world champions now playing with different partners could go out today in the round of 32. That means they're ranked 17th place.
Ou a gente acelera pra você ir acelerando de uma vez só, ou então você espera pra você dar por cima, entendeu? Over the top. Schmedins. Shamoilovs are digging deep here. There's some sloppy errors from Brazil. Really sloppy. And it's uncharacteristic of Brazil because they're renowned for not making mistakes and having the best ball control in the world, bar none. The Brazilians grow up playing this sport from an early age on the best beaches on the planet. With no block, Schmedin sees it. It's an incredible read from Schmedins. It's a play that they've designed here, Latvia. It's coming in so straight. There's no chance of him hitting sharp angle there, Andre. And Schmedins is so experienced, he knows it. He just sits in the middle. Tomoilos. <laughs> From the inside, Pat's back, it's seen. We've seen that one two or three times. Samoylos being dug a few occasions. Schmedins! Samoylos gets dug, but Schmedins is in the game. Look how low again. So late, but high and aggressive. This is a struggle period here, back to the line again. We see it from Andre, he's hitting the line a lot of times. And for George, he hasn't really been in the game for a while. Andre, trying to find some side out rhythm out there. Smoilovs and Smedins are playing very smart. Going so late in their movements. Another miss serve. Brazil, what is going on today? This is just not them, but it's a world championship. The pressure is unparalleled. Passing on a slide angle. Opportunity for Brazil, but another error. Brings up set point for Latvia. <laughs> Serving for the first set, Janis Schmedins. Straight down the central line. Back to the angle, finally, for Brazil. We haven't seen so many of them from Andre. Field goal on some oil offs. No extra points in this game, though, for any type of field goals. Second set point for Latvia. Another error from Brazil. Latvia have worked so, so hard to win that first set. But one powerhouse of Brazil. This time the errors come from Latvia. From the inside, Samoilovs, it's a similar sort of route from Brazil, trying to move Samoilovs to the centre to stop him getting out. But the footwork of Samoilovs is slightly quicker to the wings and he can brush past the line because he's still showing that he can hit cross court. to the centre, patted to the line. Andre goes high and wide.
great shots today. More cameras out there from the production team just showing the goods. Beach volleyball does not get any better than this. To the center again, we've seen it so many times. Now this is a slight game changer. Brazil haven't seen the Hawkeye stats like we have. But Andre will know that he struggled to access an angle. So what he's done is taken a wider set to be able to generate the angle back sharp across the court. Some more offs. Two in a row that go to the line. Same set, absolutely the same picture. A wider pass, moving the blocker. It's a four or five meter set just to stay high and go over the block. Short, great serving from Latvia. It's not all about serving aces. Trying to disrupt the rhythm of the approach. Get him in short. Make him suffer and it works. You can see if there's one person feeling the pressure is Andre. He's moving in short. He can't get underneath the ball with the platform. He gets off the net, but it's still all at sea from Brazil. Because of the service pressure, it gives Latvia a chance and they take it. Service goes wide, but can one believe five service errors in the opening set from Brazil? If that's not enough to burst your balloon. Confidence really does come from passing at times and serving. Neither being great here for Brazil. That's better though. Peppering to the line of Schmenz. He chips line as well. Opportunity awaits Brazil here to draw back level. Better. Andre again goes to the line, but the service pressure really just starts nudging Latvia. And if you're not the team doing the nudging, you're the team getting nudged. Blocking line for Brazil, serving a straight channel. Schmedins just skips out. Everything's open to him. But that looks like an incredible read from Andre. Be interesting to have another look. He signaled the line. Schmedins struggling to chase after that one. He still takes the line, but Schmedins cannot steer it past the block of Andre. Schmedins again from the right side. Same shot. It's quick enough and accurate enough. And that's quick enough as well from Latvia. Chance in transition through the bread bin of Schmedins. Brazil. Can you. Samoilovs in the crowd as well. The Lion King on court. The Lion Cub in the crowd. Inside on Schmedings again. This is really working for Brazil. But when your strong hand is on the inside, Janis Medins has just taught the whole world a lesson. Good footwork, and he manages to get the ball back sharp angle from the inside. And that's one of the best bits of volleyball of the entire day. To get served inside and still hit sharp angle. Takes a lot of good footwork and a great arm as well. Long from Schmedins. It's now Latvia who are Missing a few serves. And not quite putting Brazil under pressure within their side out play. 
Feathers this time operating on the back set, changing it up, chipping back. Just chipping back on the cuddy. Fluency and ease. It's not bad from Brazil. But Schmedens is a master of his craft. Serving short again on Andre, trying to mess with his approach scene from Schmedens. Blockers at 6 3 are a dying breed. But Schmedings is so late and so aggressive. Highest block of Janis Schmedings, 316. Back set coming through the middle. Facing angle, chipping line, but it's patience from Samoylov. She passes on an angle to stretch the block and open up the line. Shamoilovs and Smedin are just operating in fifth gear. Again. What a game. Both teams giving everything they've got. Brazil, their pass and set astray, but that's all muscle, all shoulder from Andre Loyola. Bosch, Schmedins does not want any of that one. Passing good zone, Schmedins having to side out against Shmolovs. Has been getting most of the serves throughout this competition, but the Brazilians can't find a way past Shmolovs, so they try and bully Schmedins, but Schmedins seems to have this ability to know the situation and make good decisions. First time he brushes sharp angle, and Brazil will know that the second time that Schmedins comes in and chips high line. They're on it, Brazil, but it's just too accurate to the back of the court. Tied at nines. If every game in the Red Bull Beach Arena is like this. Oh my days, we have a day in front of us. Schmerdins, what did the, what did Brazil do here? Can't even get my words out. Because Schmerdins is on cruise control, padding one way, shooting another, ripping through the seam, and then Shamoilovs is doing exactly the same thing. And then Schmedin sides out, Samoylovs screams another serve. And where Latvia are not giving up any side out points, both Brazilians are. Crafty. That's glorious from George. It's not all about hitting the sideline. Sometimes it's about selling one thing to the defender and then working the other way. Because Latvia have brought the line there so much. And look at the wrist working away from the body. It's not a cut shot. Because it's not sharp enough. But he just gets it back to the angle.
Latvia leading. A place in the last 16 awaits. With Evandro Bruno already out for Brazil, this would be terrible if they would lose this one as well. Samoilovs blocked chance for Brazil here. They can't lose two of their premier teams today. It'd be dreadful. Andre gets a block. Passing good zones, running that offense really wide. Sitting just slightly more natural, neutral, but it doesn't matter because Schmedens, one of the smaller blockers at times, is a force to be reckoned with here. Low again. Now you see me popping up late. And it's too late for George. Look at the shapes back into the center of the court from Schmedens. Anything that hits those hands, bam, in the middle. Straight passing. Brazil playing a much more traditional style of game, the up and down play, trying to go on the eyes and make decisions on what they see. And this is why Latvia are going so late in what they do, because they know if they go later than what Brazil's eyes can see, they will be successful. And that's exactly what's happened here today so far. Latvia don't run the same game. They work a few more angles with speeds and with good vision as well. Chip back to the line, Samoilovs from the middle, breaking off his Medins and then chipping to the line. Samoilovs is just waiting. Wits to the line. It's exactly what we were talking about. Latvia playing with more width to the pin to try and pierce the gaps down the line that Brazil just can't track this ball wide enough. They know what they're doing here, Latvia, in offense and defense. One back for Brazil. Big, big swing. Samoilovs, his arms are down low and the ball hits him high. Well seen from Samoilovs from the left side. Reactions from Andre. Brazil, they just don't know when they are beaten here in Hamburg. Every time that Latvia pull away, Brazil produce brilliance like that in true Brazilian style. The best of the best are here in Hamburg. No doubting that. Decision making to go off the hands again, a wise one for Schmedens because from a negative situation, they've managed to build through the rally again. But it's wide, Schmedens just tearing at some oil off saying, put me wider. Pressure. The first swing this from Schmedens, he knows that he's under pressure, having passed poorly. So it's a continuation play, but for anybody watching, it's not about scoring all the time at the earliest possible occasion. Schmedens buys himself an opportunity again and goes wide. Schmedin's pass line this time. Back to control. Can either of these teams go the whole way? Well, Andre's done it before in 2017. Brazil are always a threat, no matter which team it is. 
Shamoy lost in Smedins. History says no. But they're still one of the best World Tour teams of all time. Spin serve from Schmedins. It's a great one as well. Just the Brazilians passing. You have to admire that from Georges Wanderley. Gets low to the left-hand side, and again, he faces the line and just charms it back. Twice we've seen that. It's crucial that players can hit both sidelines at all times. He shows the line, and then again, the cut back with the thumb going down. Inside on Shamoilovs now. It's Latvia who just can't seem to pass in the front third. And the block counts. Rising from Brazil. And all of a sudden, Latvia is staring at a third set. Swatting. And smiling? Maybe not. Inside play again. Samoilov's charging at this one. Two in a row from Andre. Who was maybe doubted after the first set. Form is temporary. Class is permanent. Shutting the door on Samoilov's. Surely not three in a row for Brazil. Smolos wants to go high and pad over the top. Free ball, free opportunity. Bounced. This game is giving us everything. Andre nowhere near that one. 85 kilometers an hour. Latvia is still just about in touch, but they're serving now. Just going astray and their performance going with it. This for a place in the last 16. Inside, Samoilovs. Needing to find the gravel pit. No, not this time. Second opportunity. Schmedins goes Jumbo long. Set point Brazil. Where has this come from? Strong start, strong finish in the second. Andre having changed sides inside out with George. That's worked for sure. It's caused enough problems. For Latvia because George has got more away from the body on the left side. It's a key, key point that in the context of this one, that side change. Samoilovs, scoot, and there you have it. Brazil get back to 1 1 here in the Red Bull Beach Arena. Are eliminated. Evandro already gone with Bruno. Shock of the tournament. They won in Warsaw just two weeks ago, and now they're out at a 17th. Andre and George, and Samoilovs and Smedins. Well, both teams want to progress. Both teams good enough to progress, but only one team really will. Two elite teams. Very good from George Wanderley, who's just sat in that left side. And it's working so well because he has got more tools to side out on the left side.
Width again from Latvia, who really feel as if they're suffering out there at the moment. No break! What a find! Who is the man of the moment here in Hamburg? The two-time world junior champion, George Wanderlei. If you break on him, he will be more physical. If you stay up and block, he will chip it around and make you work hard to beat him. Some oil offs, chips line, seen but not dealt with from Andre. Nervous time for the fans as well as the players. And this is where you see the effectiveness of George being able to work away from the body, whether it's a cut shot, whether it's a wrist away swing, because now he can go to that line ball and there's nobody in sight. Samoy loss. We've seen that play before. Whip it to the stick and boom it down the line. Beating the blocker. Off the net. Chance for Brazil still. Andre served again, this time on the right side, and he steers that through Latvia. Straight down the seam and past Janis Schmedins. Cross court blocking coming our way. Small off the target. Let's see what Brazil do with this cross court block. They don't make the block, but they really try and make some oil offs play to the line and it works as he over rotates it the wrong side of the sideline they know what they're doing brazil it just took them a while to figure it out Challenge from Latvia. Ball in or out? Certainly out. <laughs> Serving short. Some oil offs. Missed out to the line this time, and he's just trying to muscle his way through the block. Out-muscled for the first time in a row, Andre. An eye for an eye. A tooth for a tooth. This time, it's Andre who loves hitting through the ball, out-muscling Schmedins. Staying slightly higher. Schmedins a little late. Schmedins from the right side, kicks out, needs to find a point, but no! Andre has come right back into this game. Frustration for Schmedins. Latvia, who were playing with so much fluency. Insert one. And now playing slightly more insecurely. This time off the inside hand and out. That's a really good rip from Smedins. What is going on? 
Brazil all out here. Something has to give. Someone's going home. And Schmedins is getting as high as he can to make sure that doesn't happen. Inside serve again. George from the left side. That change of sides from this team has been maybe their best decision so far. But Schmedins gets his own back from two points ago. Since the change of sides, Latvia have struggled to really make blocks and defensive plays. There's one. It's Andre that's shut down on the left. Have to keep an eye on both of them because they're changing all the time. Keeping Latvia guessing. George from the left side. Chips line and scores. It's crazy that Brazil are just shifting their sides all the time. Latvia will really have to pay attention to that too. But Brazil can control the ball from anywhere. Shemoilovs, left side. On the angle, seen from George. Chance in transition. Schmedens touches it, but the ball goes out at the back. Turning to the crowd. George has had a wonderful game here. Every time he's played on the left, he's looked dangerous. This time, shoulders around the ball, guiding it back. It's a world-class touch at a time when Brazil need it the most. Schmedem's caught going backwards. It's the little things that make big differences here in the World Championship. Smolos from the left again, wide plays. That one's gone away from the body and through Brazil. We're back to two. Straightening up the pass really nice into the hitting window. George on the right side. Great touches from Brazil. They make. The difficult things look really easy at times, that's for sure. Samoilovs works back through the body, chopping it to the sideline. The crowd, love it. Time out, Brazil. This one. Well, I don't know. No idea. Brazil looked comfortable. And then Latvia. No, this is it for them. It's do or die here in Hamburg. Nobody wants to go home. It's too good here. Yesterday in Hamburg, we had around 10,000 rammed in this arena as Laura Ludwig unfortunately left the competition with Maggie Koju. The Olympic champion, world champion, will not be retaining her world championship this year as she builds towards Tokyo, but the crowd is here to stay by the looks of it. Off the net, spiking, long and wide, Latvia! Causing some issues here. Three in a row from Latvia. Straight down the line on the inside again. Problems for Brazil. Samoilovs to the outside. That's something. But can he put the ball away? 
nor he can only find the hands of Andre. Schmedins had to try and put his partner on the net here. His arms are swinging, but he goes with the ball. Schmedins, slightly too tight in the end, waiting and swatting Andre. Smoilovs again from the left side, needing to find the side out this time, off the hat. The one thing with Lavia is they're experienced. Not saying Brazil aren't, but when you look at the World Tour competitions they play, Georgia's played 31. Andre, 42. Smoilovs, 171. Schmedin's 137, meaning that the Latvians' World Tour shorts have been in the wash more than Brazil's, but Brazil go back to the line. The problem for Latvia is they have to have a look at who's playing left side, who's playing right side. Both players wearing caps. Yes, George is a little bit shorter than Andre as Andre runs through to try and make a block. Small of Pats over the top and rolls the Lion King. When is something going to let up here? Here comes the boom. Andre, this time on the right side, comes back angle. It's his comfort swing, but he can hit so many angles with his arm coming through the body. Chasing in transition. No Samoilovs. Just covers the seam and he has a chance! 12 12! The Lion King in transition. Some say eat or be eaten. And the Lion King is feasting. Twelve, twelve. Some more. Seen in the net. Two in a row. Soaring again. Chest pumps for Latvia. The Lion King dragging Latvia through. Schmedins loves what his partner is delivering on. 2 will do it. Straight through the middle, causing all sorts of confusion for Brazil. There's an error. Is there a touch is the question. No, we go to a challenge. So much drama. Well, there you have it. Block touch. The crowd are fully aware. Latvia fully aware as well. They wanted the decision. This is a world championship. Two challenges remain for Brazil. Can you believe what we are being treated to here today? First game of the day.
Latvia still just in front. A side out from Samoilovs needed to bring up match point. No! Recovery work from Brazil. They've just missed out by the narrowest of margins. And now they have match point. Samoilovs with the side out. First match point for Latvia in one of the best games of the competition so far. So entertaining. Brazil have changed sides multiple times to try and side out. Wonderly dug. But the cover from Andre keeps Brazil alive. The crowd are on their feet here. Latvia thought they had it won. The cover from Andre. He just gets low, stays underneath the block, but stays calm. And it just hits the sideline. This from George, incredible to react at this time of the game and stay so calm with that touch. They're awarded Brazil for big heart and big desire. We go again. The winner goes through to the last 16. The loser home. Small loss from off the net. An error from Latvia. And from thinking they had it won, this game turns around again. Small loss serves short. And because of that, it's hard to get a rhythm in the approach. Brazil. Now have their opportunity. First match point, Andre and George. Serving short on some oil offs again. Blocking Andre. What a dig from George Wanderley. Is this their moment for Brazil? The cut shot is good, but sweeping around is some oil offs. Are we going again? Yes, we are. Are you entertained here? George loves that cut shot away from the body. Samoilov sees it and he gets after it. And this is a clutchy, clutchy swing. Fifteen up. Overtime in the tie break. Andre back to the left hand side. He goes angle. Holding and waiting is Janis Smedens. In transition, Smedens dug on the turn. Waiting. The cover from Brazil. That's two outrageous bits of cover to keep them in this game and in the competition. And now they have match point again. Setters cover your hitters. Schmeden so calm on the ball. Both players covering the first touch from Andre. Second match point, Brazil, serving straight down the middle. Something has to give here, surely. Some more loss from the outside. Looking to go sharp, but waiting. Brazil, this is the biggest chance for them. Off the net, it looks like they've taken it. Yes, they have. Brazil, battle past the brave Latvians to go through to the last 16. It's heartbreak for Samoilovs and Smedins who have their opportunities.